There are 250 of you. There are seven dignitaries who are accompanying the royal party around the hospital. It would have been great if we could have all walked around with them, but you can imagine how long that would take. So the next best thing is we have got camera crews positioned along the tour and they're going to be shooting pictures of it, which we will see on the big screen. Well, here we are then. And you can see the crowds, many of them visitors to the hospital, many of them from the local area around here in Govan, uh, turning out to cheer on the royal couple, whose, whose stamina and whose enthusiasm for this, this role has to be applauded. It's a quite incredible job they've been doing. And as I mentioned, Sadie Doherty, who most of us know as the Lord Provost of Glasgow, today assumes the title of Lord Lieutenant. She's introduced to Nicola Sturgeon and then Shona Robeson, the Cabinet Secretary for Health and Wellbeing, and Robert Calderwood, the Chief Exec, uh, Professor Anton Muscatelli and Professor Anna Dominicic from the University, who's also one of the world's uh, leading experts in uh, cardiovascular medicine. And Andrew Robertson, uh, the Chair, who will be on stage with the Royal Party a bit later on. So they make their way into the main children's atrium, uh, the York Hill Children's Charity there, which uh, does such great work. The generosity of supporters has enabled them to donate something like 21 million pounds to the hospital and making a difference to over 2 million patients. And you see some of the patients who are being treated here, warmly welcoming them as they come into the Anne Fraser atrium. Anne Fraser was the sister of Sir Hugh Fraser. Uh, she was a trustee of the Sir Hugh Fraser Foundation. And after she passed away in 2006, uh, the foundation felt it was an appropriate tribute to donate a million pounds to York Hill Children's Charity uh, because of her lifelong work of teaching and working with uh, children and young people. So they have named the Anne Fraser Atrium in her honour. Lokina okay, also passes by the Radio Lollipop Studios, which help give young people a voice during their stay. They might not have a say in which medicines they take, but they can certainly have a say in the music that they hear and, and the requests that they can get played. And as I say, it helps keep them entertained and um, relaxed during their stay. Nicola Sturgeon, the unofficial queen of selfies. Once again, people find it irresistible, they really do. And Her Majesty receiving flowers. She will be presented officially with flowers at the end of her visit here as well. Now she's coming into a really interesting area here. Now this was done in conjunction with Glasgow Science Centre and funded by York Hill Children's Charity. It's a like much of the hospital, a high-tech, almost kind of futuristic and space-age area. There are lots of activities, lots of science-based games and different areas. You can see that young people can get involved there. And of course, the amazing, amazing work that was done at York Hill continues here as well. So Andrew Robertson introducing the Queen to David Loudon, who's the project director for NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, and was the man who's basically had to wake up every morning and think, how do we make sure we get 10,000 staff migrated here? They managed to get across six weeks from six hospitals across the city, seven and a half thousand staff in six weeks. It's been incredible and it's been very seamless for those who are receiving uh, care here. So David Loudon, the project director, and Alistair Fernie is the project director for construction with Brookfield Multiplex. He's a the director there. They're the company that of course built this amazing world-class facility. He's a graduate of Glasgow Cali Uni and um, interestingly he grew up here in Govan so he will have seen the incredible changes that have happened here um, both on this site and of course along at Pacific Key as well where the uh, Glasgow's media village has now taken hold. So for many of the, the dignitaries this will be a chance to to see the building in operation and, and, and I guess for lots of you, I know lots of you have been involved here and work here of course, but, but for many of us who are lucky enough to be here today, just fascinating to see what's, what's involved and 
And even though the Queen will visit three different areas, I don't think many people can understand the scale of the building and what they're going to see here. So now the signal being given and they move on and then they will make their way up to the children's ward. We're going to see inside at one of the children's wards when they get up there, which is fascinating. Well, of course, everyone knows a lot about the fact that, you know, the wonderful privacy and dignity uh, that is offered here with the, um, the single rooms, but in some of the the children's facilities, the feedback was that lots of young boys and girls wouldn't want to be on their own. And you know, there's a lot of comfort to be had, a lot of fun to be had being around other kids of the same age. So the ward that we'll see uh, the Royal Party visit when they make their way upstairs is a ward that has uh, four young people in it. And once again, a chance to see not just the kind of science equipment in there and all the, the bits that we've done in conjunction with the Science Centre, but also to see the great use of colour and art throughout the hospital. That's not just therapeutic, but serves as a, a way to help find your, your way around. So there they go, make their way onto the left. I'm going to ask our string quartet to keep us entertained until we, in fact, I'm told we can go straight to see them by the magic of technology. You knew those lifts were fast. You did not know they were this fast. So the quartet are on hold at the moment. And there you go, as if by magic. And one of the staff uh, meeting the Queen there. You can tell she, they've just done the hand gel, haven't they? Very important. And so here we are, Her Majesty meeting some of the boys and girls. And this is Ward 3B, which is a surgical ward. There are 244 paediatric beds in this hospital. Most of them are in single rooms. Uh, everyone's got an ensuite. They've all got a video console. Uh, they have Wi-Fi. So all the things that young people, particularly teenagers, uh, expect in life now. Uh, you know, it's not fair to ask them to come into hospital and to not have those things that are such a big part now of their everyday life. I don't know if you'll be able to see uh, behind the patients as well. They're what matters to me boards. This is one of the things that really impressed me. There are boards, you see one up there in the corner of the picture, where staff can write up the things that, that matter to the kids. You know, it might be things like, I prefer to be called Archie. You know, that's my nickname. That's what I like. It might be, you know, I, I, I like to keep the light on at night. It's the kind of things that when staff are changing over, they're often forgotten about. So it's a great way for the kids to let all the staff here know what's important to them. They also have their hospital passports, this brilliant scheme that was uh, devised at uh, the Royal Hospital for Sick Children by psychologists there. And it's now being rolled out across other hospitals. Whenever they go for an X-ray or any kind of treatment or any part of the hospital, you can get your passport stamped. Uh, which makes you feel like you're traveling around. It makes the children feel a lot more at ease and get more involved in their treatment and care. And how sweet is that? The kids have got their, their little tiaras, their crowns on uh, to greet this royal visit. So there you go. That is the second of our two films. By now, the royal party should be making their way down to the cardiac rehabilitation uh, unit. They're going to be in there for around 10 minutes, and when they come out of there, we'll get the signal to welcome them to the stage. So, um, But it won't be too long before they make their way down there, and then we get the chance to welcome them in and begin the formal part of this afternoon's proceedings. So I will say now, let's have some more music as we get ready to begin the formal proceedings this afternoon.